When it comes to cooking meals, drying clothes, heating water, and my home, nothing beats natural gas from Centerpoint Energy. It's my most affordable energy option. It costs less to use than electricity, propane, and heating oil. So if you already have natural gas, keep it. If you're replacing an appliance, choose it. Natural gas, your best choice. Safe and affordable, rest assured. For more on the benefits of a natural gas home, visit centerpointenergy.com slash natural gas benefits. Centerpoint Energy, always there. All right, we want to know. Um, I'm so proud of how our girls came out. With so much adversity uh, with everything going on and really came out and was focused and played together, played connected. Um, and uh, just the fourth quarter, we struggled, gave up 18 points. We have a goal each quarter, how much we want to hold our opponent. So that quarter, we didn't do well. But overall, great, great job from our girls. Kira came out ready to play. Uh, we wanted that double-double for Maddie. Um, but just great job and, and looking for the game for tomorrow. Questions? David, why don't you start? Hey, Armini, in, in a tournament like this, where you guys could possibly play three games in the course of four days, how important was it in a game like this that you were able to get the starters out and kind of rest their legs at the end? Very, very important. I mean, even with Kira, I had to tell him third, Kira, we 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 can have to get you out. <laughs> uh, Netta and Maddie are uh, very important because we need them uh, for the next couple games until we're able to go home for a break. So, and that's why we we have a deep deep bench. You know, that's what's going to help us in the long run. That our bench coming out ready. Uh, JB Taya uh, being ready to play. Kate and E giving us good minutes. Kate really did a good job tonight. So very important for us to get our girls off their legs, you know, early and not have to play them really that fourth quarter. Courtney? Coach, you already briefly mentioned it. Shakira was just dominating inside today. I mean, once you put her there, she could not be stopped. What was working so well for you guys just feeding it to her and letting her take care of the rest? Well, that's the game plan, you know, inside out. We want to play inside out, really, no matter who we play. But we, we know we had a, an advantage in, in the paint, and so we really wanted to take advantage of that. We still shot too many threes. I mean, we was, we was one for 12, jacking up. So some of the guards didn't get the point um, that we wanted to go inside more. But Kira did a good job of not dribbling so much. We, we told her they would really dig down and try to get the ball if she dribbled. So she did a good job of really being coachable. And, and I'm telling you, she's a different player. Uh, when, when February hit, you know, she, when she was at Maryland, she's used to that, that championship feel. So when February hit, she became a different animal. You know, she's really been focused, really been locked in. And, and the players have really taken to that and really followed suit. So um, she's really been putting the work in, really been coachable, and, and it's paying off. David? I'm sure you y'all y'all did advanced scouting on everybody you would possibly face up here in this regional, uh, but you're still a couple hours away from knowing who you're going to play tomorrow. Describe the preparation process in the morning. Mm -hmm. uh, get ready to play whoever it is you guys are going to face tomorrow night. Mm -hmm. Well, you know, usually we we meet tonight. You know, we 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 don't sleep. <laughs> That's what coaches do. Uh, we we get on the film. We already have our other two coaches that have worked on whoever's going to win each game and then I'll get the next game. So we already have the film broken down. We already have the scout report ready. Uh, we'll break down some clips from this game. We'll go on to the next game and then in the morning, we'll show some clips from this game, what we did well, what we need to make sure we work on. Then we'll move on to the next team. Thank Any you. questions for coach? Courtney? Coach, just curious. Were you communicating with Coach Yo at all throughout the game? Did you talk at halftime or has she been able to? I know we just got done with the game, but have you talked to her all after the game ended? Mm -hmm. uh, I just was I just spoke to her before I got on the phone with you guys. Uh, we did get a chance to talk to her at halftime, getting her thoughts. I mean, it's so important. She's been a, a big role. Me and her have talked nonstop um, this whole week. Um, but, yeah, we were able to talk to her at halftime. She was able to give us, of course, great insight what to do, what not to do. Uh, she didn't speak to the team after the game because they had to leave out of here quickly, but I did just speak to her. But yes, we've been able to communicate with her. And then just a quick follow up, just how much does it mean to you that she has just so much trust in you to go out and handle the team's first postseason appearance in four years? I'm telling you, I, I just, that, it's, it's, it's almost, you probably the first one that's going to make me cry this week <laughs> because, you know, when she gave me that opportunity, it was a piece on me because I know Coach Joe 
I've only been around her for three years, but for her to feel confident in me to do that, I said, man, I got to be doing something right. And what Coach Joe know is I'm going to do things exactly how she do it. I'm not going to change her way. This is her program. I'm, I'm on her bandwagon and, and she believes that and trusts it. So I'm glad I can give her a piece. Anytime you can give your head coach a piece, man, they can get an extra two hours of sleep. And so that's, that's my thing for Coach Joe. You know, I'm just trying to make sure I do everything the old Miss way. Uh, I'm, I'm not trying to do anything new. I'm trying to do it her way so that she can feel at peace. She can have a comfort. And then the, the girls do the same way because they got to make sure they are hearing the same message. You know, so I'm telling you, I'm overjoyed. I'm staying calm and I'm just making sure I'm making her proud, making sure I'm doing my job uh, so that she can continue to get rest and get healthy. We have time for one more question, David. I watched the game on Flow Sports and uh, the atmosphere seemed to be a little docile. I mean, a high school gymnasium and things like that. Is that ever a concern? I mean, your girls are used to playing in big arenas and not necessarily big crowds this year, but uh, you know, just the backdrop of the game. How did how did you think they? Um, uh, I you know we actually had a good crowd. Uh, our Ole Miss fans came through <laughs> here in Memphis, so we looked like we probably had about thirty five people, maybe. And in a small gym like this, it sounds pretty loud. So shout out to the Ole Miss fans that came out, man. It was amazing for us. We didn't think anything different, especially with COVID now, even in a big arena you know, really don't, you really can't even hear the fans. So we grateful for this small space to be able to have our fans really, really loud and cheering for us. Awesome. Thanks coach. Thanks y'all. Thank that's, you. That's all time we have for today. We have to clear out of here.